Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the Learn Tarot series with me and we're doing the Fool today and I'm really excited about this card, it's one of my favourite cards, it's a real powerful card and it's got this real joyful childlike feel about it too. So what we're going to do, we're going to look at the card together and we're going to analyse the card and talk about it. And then we're going to bring in the other cards. We're going to talk about it from the twin flame perspective, from the feminine and the masculine points of view. So let's start then by looking at the card. Okay, so we've got the fool in front of us now. And what can you see? Wherever we're looking at a tarot card, we look at it in a sense of how does the card make us feel? What do we see? What do we experience? when we're looking at this card and the first thing we can see is there's a huge zero at the top okay and that zero signifies eternity eternal love eternal power the fact that we are spiritual beings having a human experience and the fact that we are all connected with source and we come here to learn we come here to grow we come here to this school of life on the earth plane to have adventures, to experience new things, to find magic in our lives, to understand things from a much higher point of view. And that's really what the energy of the fool is, because the fool is an energy of a new beginning. The fool is the energy of a fresh start and moving towards our dreams, not being afraid to take flight, not being in fear over the unknown, releasing all of that with childlike wonder, sometimes feeling like a fool because we may make a, a mistake, we may falter, we may fail, but it's about going for what you want. And you can see what he's wearing. He's wearing kind of these beautiful kind of light, airy, sunflower type clothes which signify being yourself remembering that you are powerful that you are unique that you are strong that there's nobody like you and the very vibrant colors too so he's not afraid to stand out from the crowd he's not afraid to go out on his own to follow his heart and his soul and it's about having that vision of what you want and acting on it and he's showing you there you know, he's, he's, he's taking with him just the smallest amount of possessions. So he's not afraid to leave the past behind. He's not afraid to simplify his life. He's ready for a new beginning. He's ready to start again. He's ready with excitement and a little bit of apprehension to take that leap. And you can see there he's standing on the edge of a cliff. And that's about taking a jump into the unknown but knowing that the angels will catch you that the universe completely has your back that wherever you're being guided to go you'll be directed that you are not alone and we can see that there's a dog in this card which signifies the fact that he's not going on this journey alone he can face it because he's got the power and the strength and the determination within himself. But that's also being given to him from heaven. And that dog is also a message about companionship and partnership and loyalty. So in the twin flame journey, this is also showing you that whatever you decide to do, whatever leap of, ta of faith that you take, it will lead you to your twin flame. It will lead you to your union to the companionship and the partnership that you were seeking. And this is also a very romantic card, you know, the feeling of romance. You can see there he's feeling romantic. You know, he's got in his hand, you could see that as flowers. Some people may see that as mistletoe or wanting to bring something to the table. You're ready now to, to start again, to bring new things in, to bring in magic. So from the divine masculine perspective, looking at this card, you can see that he's ready for a new beginning. He's ready to take that step towards the divine feminine. He's ready to step away from the crowd and start again and really focus on his own goals and dreams and move into the unknown and release fear. And he's ready for what's to come. 
and divine feminine you're ready to even if it seems scary even if it's a bit crazy and shaky and you're not sure what's going on you have the whole of the universe behind you that has your back and that zero is a real sign of universal power you know the zero is a message from the angels and the universe saying we are with you that you are one there's no beginning and there's no end you know the zero is endless it goes on and on and on and you will go on and on and on you're just here in this physical life in this physical body for a fleeting moment but you will continue you will carry on you will prevail you know you were before this body and you will be after this body so it's about releasing fear so adventures leaps of faith starting again excitement even if there's apprehension you're not sure what's to come you're still feeling excited even if there's that fear of the unknown you're not sure what will happen if you kind of take that leap of faith there's still that excitement there and you will release fear so the fool is a great sign of a new beginning it can also symbolize the ending of a cycle you know like the end of the year you know we're in a brand new year as i record this in real time so the end of uh, one year for a new one to come or the end of a season or a cycle or something that you're going through in your life you know you're ready to move on you're ready for a fresh start you're ready to try something new so this could be at work you may be ready for a new adventure at work a change something magnificent flowing into your life you may be ready to walk away from the past to start on your mission or work on your purpose you could be preparing to leave a karmic situation and you're ready for that now you're ready to be single until you're in union you're ready to learn who you are and focus on the self so the fool is a journey you know it always reminds me of the wizard of oz you know dorothy sets out on the yellow brick road she, she's unsure of what's coming she doesn't know what's what's happening you know and she doesn't know who she'll meet along the way but she knows she's going on an adventure and she's excited about it because she's ready to follow the yellow brick road and the yellow brick road is really your own truth and your own heart and your own happiness and we've got the sun there too because the sun is shining down and the sun is a symbol of happiness and warmth and strength so and the light in the card the beautiful kind of orange yellow warmth of the sun which takes up quite a lot of the card there is a great symbol of change and that you can do what you want to do because you have power and that you have all the power within you guiding you and you'll be okay that you're moving towards happiness that you're finding your feet and the kind of ice energy here which is like you know mountains or you know kind of antarctic weather bit of snow on the ground there however you're seeing that is the fear but you're overcoming fear because you're looking up you can see there he's looking up to the heavens he's being guided he's got his arms out wide and even though he's holding on to this you know that's got kind of a little bit of money maybe in there he's got what he needs so the energy is he has everything he needs in this moment to get through this to start again to simplify his life and he's ready to embrace it so he's in the energy of surrender arms wide ready for what's to come feeling good about this life and this journey and he's really feeling that way and you can feel it you know how does the card make you feel are you feeling this energy are you feeling excited when you're looking at the card are you feeling magical are you feeling childlike are you feeling romantic are you feeling the energy of this new beginning like you've got wings and what they're really guiding me to there is on the garment of clothing the red wings it's like he's got wings and red is connected with archangel metatron the time angel so the time is now to fly you know they're showing me that like a phoenix and you know looking at this card now with fresh eyes they're saying that you're seeing your journey with fresh eyes you're seeing a new beginning with wonder and joy and it's like you wake up in the morning in gratitude and power excited about what's to come 
excited about a new beginning, excited about a fresh start. And when you feel that way, when you're in gratitude and healing energy and feeling good, you can do anything. You feel like you've got wings. You feel like your vibration is high. You feel excited. So when you're getting this card, he's ready for an adventure. He's ready for anything. He's ready for a new beginning. And if the card comes up reversed and you're reading reverse cards, what does it look like there to you? It looks like he needs to change the way he's seen things. He may be stuck to the ground in fear. He may be afraid of taking that leap of faith or afraid of going on a new adventure. He may feel stuck where he is and he knows he has to make a change. So it's really all about seeing things from a higher point of view. What does that card remind you of? The hanged man. So there's delays around while he changes his perception. So the fool is a card that says to you, let's make a change. Let's do something new. Let's go on an adventure because we are spiritual beings and we were born to shine. And as spiritual beings, we're born to grow. You know, as a child, when we're born as a baby, we're born to grow. You know, we don't remain as a baby. We grow, we evolve, we grow up. And that's what happens to us spiritually too. And for us to grow up and evolve and learn and become our greatest version and to move into union with our twin and work on our mission, we have to be open to change and making mistakes in the spiritual truth that there is not. Because there are no mistakes on this journey. There's only lessons that lead to blessings and blessings lead to love. So the fool is a great indicator that you are moving towards what you want. And what you want is union with your twin flame. What you want is peace and harmony in your life and excitement and joy and bliss and being able to become the person that you were born to be. So the fool is a great sign that everything is working out and you are where you're meant to be as long as you follow your heart and take that leap that you're being guided to take. So powerful. So powerful. You know, so powerful. And the fool can also be connected with air energy because you can see there he's kind of looking up to the heavens. You know, he's looking up to the heavens and He's talking to God, Jesus, the angels. He's connecting with his higher self and he's tuning in with who he truly is. So, you know, air energy, things changing, feeling of a change in the air because, you know, things are moving forward right now and can also be connected with Aquarius too. So big sign of change. So in the other cards, we've got the new beginning energy and that's really what the fool is. So you know, if you want to take notes and, you know, you want to just have two words connected with this card, new beginnings or adventure or new leap of faith. That's what this card is suggesting, that there's a new beginning coming in. And regarding the twin flame journey, you're being reminded that you are spiritual beings, that you are eternal. And that's what that huge zero there is saying to you that you are eternal beings, you're forever, you will go on. So if you make mistakes, it's okay, don't feel like a fool, don't feel foolish because we all have to be vulnerable on this journey, being vulnerable, being childlike, you know, and our childlike persona sometimes can get hurt, our ego can get battered and bruised, but we have to see through the eyes of love, not fear see things with wonder and childlike awe and magic. And that's really what the fool is all about. So in the, the twin flame tarot, the fool is about taking that leap of faith. It says, take a leap of faith and get ready for a new adventure. Exciting times ahead. So whenever you get the fool, really in whatever aspect it comes out as with other cards, it's a huge sign that there's better times ahead, exciting times ahead, that things are starting to take flight, that things are starting to move forward. And that's what you can see this person is doing. They've taught that leap. You know, they've taught that leap of faith. So he's thinking about it here and he's doing it here. He's, he's in mid-flight. So when you're in mid-flight, you know, when you take that jump, think about Neo when he, he needs to take his first jump in the matrix. 
or in the new matrix where he's needing to take it again, you know? And there's that fear, what if I fall? What if I don't make it? What if I don't survive? What if I can't do this? And there's that little voice in the head saying, you can, you can do this. You have the power. You are strong. You can achieve your dreams. You can get there. You will get through this. And that's that power and that strength that's coming from heaven. And that's been shown to you with the dog. And the dog here in the twin flame journey can also symbolize your twin because you are one and you are always connected. So even if you feel alone or your masculine feels alone, you're not because you are one. So you're always with each other because separation is illusion and you are always by each other's side. So when you tap in with that energy, you feel them with you. So you know that you take them wherever you go. It's a lot like when you lose a loved one, you take them with you everywhere you go. You know, my mum passed away in March 2021. And now I feel her with me everywhere I go. She's with me. She's part of me. Just like your twin is part of you. So you're never alone. And you'll be protected and supported. And you have power to make that new beginning happen. To take control of your life to begin again. So if you get this card in a reading whether it's for you or someone else, see it as a great sign of a new beginning, something wonderful and magical coming in, excitement. It's a message from the universe saying to you, get excited about your journey, get excited about your mission, start seeing things from a higher point of view and release any fear. Don't let fear trap you or make you feel stuck or that things are stagnant. Don't feel you have to stay somewhere you're not satisfied or where you don't find happiness because you have the power to change your life you are a spiritual being that's why you've come all you have to do is follow your heart remember you're on this yellow brick road and you can find your way to the emerald city and that's absolutely what you're doing so you can go home and be with your twin and move into union and harmony and blissful power within yourself so the fool from the divine feminine's perspective, I am embracing the life of my dreams. And that's absolutely what you're doing on this new beginning, on this new adventure. You're in your power when you get the fool because you are embracing what's going on and you're ready for the life of your dreams. You're ready for something. You're ready to learn. You're ready to grow. You're ready to take control. And if you find this channel, when you're struggling, it's because your heart is ready, your soul is ready, when the student is ready, and they're giving me fear, even if you're going through fear and struggle and pain, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear, and that's what you've been shown in this card, that you're ready to embrace this new beginning, you're ready to embrace adventure, you're ready to make some mistakes if you need to because you know now that there are not. That mistakes are just lessons in disguise that lead to blessings and magic and love. So you're ready to embrace the life of your dreams. Sometimes when you get the fool, you could be having vivid dreams. You could be dreaming about the future and what you want. Magical things ahead. You could be being shown in your dreams, a preview of what's to come. So you may even dream about making this change that you've been guided to make. You may dream about your twin making the changes they need to make. So this could also be connected with something in your personal world. So it could be you, you know you need to leave your job or you want to move home or you want to relocate or you want to do something differently. You may want to change the way you eat and your own physical self, your habits. Maybe you want to start doing mindfulness or meditation or write a book or do something creative. And you're ready to embrace and follow your heart because that always leads to your dreams. So the fool can mean so much more than just taking a leap of faith. It's about power and strength coming in when you tap in with who you truly are and realize that it's okay to be you. Because you were special and unique and magical. And that's why he's wearing such flamboyant clothes. Because he's not afraid 
you know, to do that. He's thinking, who cares what people think? It's the energy where you say, I'm not taking it personally anymore. I don't care what people think about what I'm doing or the way I look or the way I dress or who I am because I'm being me. And that's what the fool is. Even if you feel foolish, even if people think that you're foolish. You know, they used to call me loopy lips because they didn't understand me. Remember, people fear or ridicule what they don't understand. And you are stronger than that. You are in this life and in this world and in this, this body, but you are not of it. You are a spiritual being connected with source. You are liquid love. You are forever. You are eternal. Having this small, kind of short experience as a human being right now. And you can handle it. So get excited about what's coming in. Be excited about this day. And even if you pull this card and you may think, well, there's no big changes I want to make right now. Or maybe you want to make them, but there's fear there. Or maybe you're thinking, well, I'm, I'm where I need to be. I'm okay. This could be showing you that be more childlike. Simplify your life. Don't make it all so serious. As a divine feminine, we tend to do that. We take it so serious. We feel burdened and we take on struggles and other people's pain. So we can feel like we're carrying the weight of the world on our shoulder. So it's also a big sign to lighten the load, to simplify things. Could be a great sign to have a clear out, to clear the clutter, to make things easier. You know, to get rid of the old, to bring in the new. So it's a definite new beginning in some way, shape or form. It may be that you've been through a huge moment of awakening and you're like, wow, you're releasing the past, you're healing, you're feeling better. So the fool is really a symbol of, of something magical coming, you know, excitement, joy, childlike wonder to see things with the eyes of love, not fear, because that also gives you wings. You know, this is about your wings coming out and flying free, being reborn. So it's a lot like rebirth. You know, the tarot tells a story. Each card kind of leads to the next. And you're going to see that as we progress through the cards because the fool leads to the magician. And what is the magician? It's someone who takes control. Someone who embraces all the tools and the talents and their abilities within them to achieve what they want. And that's what you're doing here because you're visualizing. So the fool can also be a great sign about visualization, planning, thinking about what you want and having that vision of it and going for it. So, you know, it's a great energy. It's also a big sign that you may be thinking about what to do. So that can also be a block, you know, if you're finding that in a reverse position or that's what you're feeling, there could be a block in the mind because you're afraid of making that change or you're unsure of what's ahead. So it brings in fear and it clouds your judgment and it puts you into ego and the ego brings in stress. Why? Because it's focusing on the future, stressing over it or it's focused on the past that can't be changed. But when you are in the now, you feel alive, you feel free. So the fool is a message about freedom, feeling alive and excitement. When you get this card, you may see horses. You may see seagulls. You know, horses kind of are very free creatures, wild horses. Seagulls are masters of the, the earth, you know, the ground and the sea and the sky. They can go anywhere, really. So it's about you finding your power and your strength. So as a divine feminine, when you get this card, you're feeling excited. And they're giving me the word cool. You may be feeling cool too. Cool about the journey. Relaxed. More at peace. More centered. More focused. And for the masculine, I am ready for change. I'm preparing to take a leap of faith. So he's saying, I'm ready for change. I know that. He may be afraid of it. He may be dealing with some fear around making the change or what the change will mean, but he's definitely ready for it spiritually because he's eternal. You know, he's that zero, remember, he's eternal, he's connected. So he's ready and he's thinking, what's next for me? So he's ready, he's preparing to take that leap of faith. So when you pull this card, something pretty magical is about to take place within your connection, your journey and your life. So embrace it, feel good and know your truth. I hope that helps. If you want to comment, 
let us know how you feel about these cards what you picked up you know if there's anything else coming through here that you're really connecting with but such a beautiful energy especially with me picking up on the wings you know and getting ready to fly and soar and be free and the masculine is saying that i'm ready i'm ready to make a change i'm ready for a new beginning i'm preparing to take this leap of faith because in spiritual truth i know the angels will catch me have a great day sending you so much love and i'll see you soon